Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Sean, you're in the Pokeball, and today I've got an incredible investing video for you. We're gonna be talking about singles that you can buy right now for under $15. All right, guys, thank you so much for clicking on the video. Before we get into this, I just want to, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. We just surpassed 7K subs. We're almost at 7,100. You guys are absolutely cracked. You're amazing. Thank you. We have such an awesome community. We almost have 500 people in Discord. That's the place to be, guys. If you want, if you want to get some good deals, better than anything you can get on eBay, hop in the Discord. Also, follow us on Instagram because we announce stuff there too. Uh, we also announced the the, uh, the live events, which are insane. Yeah, that didn't feel too good, did it? Your 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 <laughs> looks like the last half of that that box break. Freaking rough. That was tough, guys. The last half of that was tough. At some point, we're gonna go to members only for the breaks, so I can pass on extra savings to you guys. We're working on that as we speak. So if you're not a member, it's like two bucks or whatever. It's next to the subscribe button. Consider joining, and it also helps me uh, to bring you, you know, just the 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 content and and the giveaways. It all goes back to you guys anyway. Okay, so let's get right into this. Today, we're gonna be talking about singles that you can buy for under fifteen dollars. Now, trigger alert. This is my the, this is my opinion. Number one, number two. These are things that I'm getting into, and number three, a lot of cards could fit this description. So keep that in mind. Take it with a grain of salt. I will tell you that I've done very well for myself in the past, kind of trying to snipe certain cards, and I go off a few criteria. Okay, number one, I go off of how is the existing sealed pack uh, set like how how is it doing? Is is the sealed pack appreciating i take that into consideration number two i take into consideration if it's a you know it's a, if it's an mvp pokemon right if it's an important pokemon i also take that into consideration and then number or popular i mean and then number three is uh gosh what was it? all right cut this out cole and number three is the artwork itself so is it aesthetically pleasing as an artwork. I definitely take that into consideration. With those three things combined, I try to make an educated decision on whether the price that's being asked for is undervalued at a good value or <clears throat> if it's overvalued. So it could go the other way. All right, first card is gonna be Dragonite from Evolutions. So this is, this is an ultra rare full art from Evolutions. Uh, as far as checking the boxes go, number one, you can you can pick this up in near mint to mint condition for fifteen dollars. Okay, number two, evolutions is just going to keep going up, guys. I know they printed it. They 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 printed it into oblivion. That's okay. People love the set. There's a lot of good things going going for this set. And yeah, I mean, artwork. It is a amazing artwork it's a like look at this thing this is a sinister dragonite and he will fire punch your freaking head off okay boom and then number three dragonite is a fan favorite i fell in love with dragonite in pokemon the first movie you know when it was the mer the mail carrier dragonite and that's when i was like yo and he was like zipping across the the ocean i don't know if you guys remember that movie go back and check it out but it's po the pokemon first movie and he's just cooking across the pacific going to new island okay this i mean it's an amazing pokemon amazing card 15 bucks i see a bunch of room in this thing i think you can pick up a psa 10 for like 100 120 this is easy easy 15 bucks okay next we're gonna go a little bit more contemporary and i'm gonna give you some reasons why so we're gonna talk about skyla from shining face so skyla is obviously a full art trainer. I think full art trainers in general are very slept on, in my opinion. Uh, the artworks are beautiful. This Skyla is, we have, okay, we have a thing in the in, in the vault squad. We have a thick community. Skyla, she's doing the most right now. Let's be honest, okay? But also, it's a beautiful artwork. Skyla is a fan favorite, and it's a full, I mean, and it's a full art trainer. I mean, it's just a beautiful card. Right now, you can pick this card up for 15 bucks in near mint to mint condition. I mean, 
when this when the set first came out, <clears throat> I, I hope you weren't one well, you know one of the people that bought it for a hundred bucks. I talk about that in previous investing videos. Don't buy it right when it comes out. These cards were selling for between seventy five to a hundred dollars, and I mean if you saw it, you know what I'm talking about. Right now, I see them going for the, I see solds for fifteen bucks, and then in Discord, you probably get a better deal than that. I don't know, but yeah, number two for me is Skyla. It checks all the boxes. Uh, I love this card. It's a great artwork, and I'm picking some up myself. So. Yeah. All right. Number three. This may be a little bit confusing, but maybe to some, to others, it might make sense. And we're going to talk about Eternatus from Shining, from Shining Fates. So this was another one of those cards that came out swinging, super expensive, came out super hot. Uh, I don't even know what they're selling. I want to say they were selling for like 50, 60 bucks, maybe 70 bucks at, at the peak. Uh, but this is a gold card. It is, you know, the pull, the, it's harder to pull one of these obviously than like a full art trainer. And with time, I don't know how popular this card is, uh, to the newer guys coming into the, you know, coming into the, to the hobby, but the artwork is beautiful. And for 15 bucks on a card of this rarity, I'm, I'm kind of a fan of those cards that have low pull rates, you know, and kind of getting into those cards for cheap because long term, there's obviously going to be less of them, right? So they, let's say a card has a one in a one in a thousand, you know, a chance of, of get, you getting one. Then there's one, that one, one in a hundred. There's going to be 10 more of the one in one hundreds than there are the one in one thousands. You know what I'm saying? So long term, there's just going to be less of these than, than other cards. So pick number three for me at 15 bucks is this gold Eternatus V. It's beautiful. Shining Fates. All right, guys. Number four, this may, people may be like, uh, yeah, you're you're an idiot. Other people may be like, yeah, you're at, you're right on. We're gonna go with the Rainbow Birds from Hidden Fates. So this is a full this is a full art rainbow or hyper rare type card, and it's a tag team card, and it's from Hidden Fates. It's the only one like it in the set. Uh, it's for me. Let's check the boxes. Popular cards, of course, it's the Legendary Birds, popular. Artwork, I think it's dope. I love the artwork. It, when it when the set first came out, I'm not gonna lie to you, I was like, oh, another Birds, another Birds, another Birds. I just think that long-term, and for 11, these are 11 bucks, you could even get, I saw one sell for $9. For nine, 10, 11 bucks in near mint to mint, a hyper rare, I don't know how many you can get like this, unless it's some pseudo Udo or something, but this thing checks all the boxes for me. It's a beautiful card. I know it's more contemporary, but for if you could snipe this for nine, ten bucks, I think you're doing really well, honestly. Okay, Rainbow Birds, pick number four, Hidden Fates. Last but not least, guys, I'm glad you stuck around because if you did, this is probably the biggest sleeper in these five. I was so just going through my 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 collection and kind of looking at like what am i gonna hop what what you know what do i want to hop into right now what do i want to buy some of i have like 50 bucks in my pocket i want to i want to buy a few cards guys sleeper alert okay charizard from generations this charizard is so there's two main Charizards in Generations. There's this one, and then the card right after it is a Mega Charizard uh, that is more, that is much more expensive than this one. I take a guess at how much this bad boy is right now. You can get this thing for twelve to fifteen dollars, guys, in near mint to mint condition. Let's check the boxes. Generations is going psycho on the price per pack. The artwork is absolutely dope. Okay, this thing looks like it's gonna bust out of the frame of this card and freaking burn your toast. And then, I mean, just, it, it's a Charizard. I back Charizard anything as far as long-term plays, short-term investment plays, whatever. Whatever it is that you're looking for, follow the dragon and and he will, he will take care of you, okay? Charizard from Generations, 12 to 15 bucks. This is the fantasy Pokemon sleeper pick of the week coming from Pokevault Live, okay? This card is awesome and it's very, very, very slept on because it has such a big card next to it, which is that Mega Charizard. For 15, for 12 to 15 bucks, guys, come on, no brainer. 
All right, guys, if you made it this far, of course, hit the sub button, be a part of the journey. I appreciate you. Hit the like button. Drop me a comment. Tell me what, tell me your thoughts on my picks. I'd love to hear from you. And yeah, uh, I can't wait to do this again. I love doing the investing videos. I hope you like them too. I will see you on the next episode of Pokeball. Peace out, guys. Take care. I live inside my own world of make-believe.